Normally, I would cover Raw and full and talk about what I liked and didn't like about the show. Let me just tell you guys, to sum up Monday Night Raw, it sucked tonight. It really, really did suck tonight. The only saving glimmer of hope to this show was this thing right here that I'm going to be talking about. Seth Rollins turning on the shield. Holy freaking hell. This surprised the hell out of me because you see the WWE with their main events that they that they are having. I, I knew that most of them were going to be predictable. When Randy Orton and Roman Reigns were about to wrestle, I said to myself, well, they're really egging up that Batista quit the company. So I'm guessing this is another, oh, Evolution's so smart. They lied to us. Batista didn't really quit. This was all BS. You know, Batista's just going to come from behind and spear the shield and all that other crap. That's what I really thought that they were going to do here. I really thought they were going to have Batista do that. And we're going to end Raw with Evolution looking, looking tall. But Randy Orton and Roman Reigns happens, and then so Seth Rollins, he exits the ring, grabs the damn steel chip. Triple H has a sledgehammer, and then he talks about how we have option B. We have plan B. Dave left us hanging, but we have ourselves some plan B. And plan B was Seth Rollins turning freaking heel against the shield and attacking Dean Ambrose and attacking Roman Reigns at the steel chair. Now, I understand if some of you guys are not fond of this move. I can completely understand that. Because you guys think Ambrose would be most likely to turn against the Shield. Or maybe a Roman Reigns would turn against the Shield. But here's the thing I'm saying this. This makes for a better fucking story. Seth Rollins, let's face it. What is one thing us wrestling fans complain about? This shit's too damn predictable. They brought up something that was fucking unpredictable. Out of all the members of the Shield, Dean Ambrose was probably number one to turn against him. But out of all the members of the Shield... Seth Rollins turns against the Shield. The guy who was pretty much the glue of the Shield. He wasn't the leader, but he was the glue. He was the guy that kept things together. And remember during WrestleMania time when Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns, they were fighting against each other. Who was the one man that kept them together? Who was the one man that really represented what the Shield was all about? It was Seth freaking Rollins. And if anything, if you're a Seth Rollins man, you should be fucking happy the WWE is even putting him in this position because you would think Dean Ambrose or Roman Reigns would be in here. I'm fine with what the WWE is doing. I'm glad Seth Rollins turned heel on the shield. It's bringing some life to the, to the WWE. It's something unpredictable. You, you guys could ask me, Chase, what are they going to do with this? I don't know. And that's the beauty of it. You know, it could be a good I don't know or it could be a bad I don't know. It's more of a, I have to wait and see what happens next week on Raw. Why did Seth Rollins turn on the shield and align himself with Evolution? My God, I, I, I don't really know the full answer. And that's what I like as a wrestling fan. Something where I don't expect it to happen. Something unexpected finally happens. And a lot of you fans are upset because it's not Dean Ambrose. That is too freaking predictable. Dean Ambrose turning heel on the shield, too predictable. Oh, yeah, the storyline between Ambrose and Reigns. Two alpha males going at it. That's it. That's the storyline. With Seth Rollins, there's so much more there. How he was the glue of the shield and how he kept the shield together. How he was the spokesperson for the shield for the longest time. He was the guy who would talk a lot from the for the shield. He was a big part of the shield. The shield, you know, you would think Seth Rollins would never betray the shield. If anyone that would stay loyal to the shield's colors, it would be a Seth Rollins. No one else. Seth Rollins is so unpredictable, such a curveball, that it could work. I'm going to wait and see what they do with this Seth Rollins segment. I think some wrestling fans need to do that. I think that this is a good thing. I think this can help Seth's character in the future. I really think the WWE made a good move with Seth Rollins turning against the Shield. You can agree or disagree with me. It's all on your opinion. But what did you guys think of Seth Rollins turning against the Shield? Comment down below your Thoughts. Like I said, Raw sucked tonight. Don't expect a full-length review tonight. Maybe tomorrow I'll do a full-length review on the subject. But Raw sucked tonight. That's just the bottom line. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Remember to check out my website. Follow me on Twitter. I'll see you all next time. Peace!